Okay, children. So now we will be solving few questions to understand our terms better. Okay. So here comes my first question. Your first question says that my minutes hand is at three. Okay. And my hour and is at four. So what is the time? And my options are three twenty. Second one is four fifteen. Next one is four. Three, three, four. Okay. So, first, what we will do is we will draw the watch. Twelve, six, three, nine. Okay, and we will highlight the in between numbers. Now, what is my question telling? My question is telling my minutes hand. Minutes hand, which means the length of your hand. So, my minutes hand is in three, and my hour hand is in four. So, the smaller one is in four, and my bigger one is in three. So, what is the time? So, we will be skip counting from five, right? So, five. Ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five, thirty, thirty-five, forty, forty-five, fifty, fifty-five, and sixty. Okay. So my hour uh, hand is in four, and my minutes hand is in three. And my options given are three twenty, four fifteen, four three, and three four. So can you tell me what is the time now? It is good. It is four fifteen, which means my second option is the right one. Clear? Shall we do some more sums like this? Okay. So now, another question. I say my minutes hand is in six, and my hour hand is in nine. Okay. And I would change the options now. So let us see. How far you are able to tell me this answer? Okay. So six, nine, nine, six, nine, thirty, six, forty-five. Okay. So we will erase these needles as well. Okay, so my question says that my minutes hand, which means the longer needle, minutes hand is in six, and my hour hand, which is the small needle, that is in nine. So what is the time, children? See and tell me. So nine, and here it is thirty. So which means the time is nine thirty. Where can you see nine thirty? Yes, it is option C, which is the right answer. Clear? Shall we do some more? Okay. So now, my minutes hand is in ten, and my hour hand is in three. Okay, and I will change the options as well. Okay. So. My first option is ten, three, three, ten, three fifty, ten, fifteen. I will be erasing the needles as well. Okay. 
So now my minutes hand which means the longest needle that is in 10. And my hour hand which means my small needle that is in 3. So what is the time now? 3 and here it is 50. So where can you find 350? Good. So option C is my right answer. So are you clear with this pattern of questions? Shall we do the next pattern of questions children? Okay fine. So here comes your next question. Now, my next question says that Sonia, she walks for 30 minutes. Okay. Then she takes rest. for 5 minutes ok then again she walks back for 25 minutes so what is the duration covered Okay, did you understand the question? Sonia walks for 30 minutes. She is walking for 30 minutes. After that, she takes rest for 5 minutes. And then she walks back again for 25 minutes. So you have to calculate and tell me what is the total duration. So what we have to do? We have to draw a clock again. 12, 6, 3, 9. Yes. And then we will be mentioning the numbers in between. Okay. And shall we just mention the outside the numbers as well? Yes. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45, 50, 55 and Okay, so assume that she starts walking at morning 8 o'clock. Okay, so we will draw small hand in 8 and a big hand in 12. Okay, so now they say that she walks for 30 minutes. So starting from 8 o'clock, 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So which means that she continues walking for 30 minutes. So starting from 8 o'clock, she will complete walking at 8.30. Okay. After that what happens? She is taking rest for 5 minutes. So from 8.30 to 8.35, she is taking a break of 5 minutes. So now the time is 8.35. Yes. So totally she has covered 35 minutes. After that what does they say? They say that she walks back. For 25 minutes again. So she will be walking back for another 25 minutes. So counting from here 5, 10, 15, 20, 25. So which means that Sonia will reach back home at 9 o'clock. Did you understand how? She is taking rest at 8.35. So from here she is walking back again which is 5. 10, 15, 20, 25. So, at 9 o'clock she reaches back home. So, what is the total duration which she has covered? The total duration covered is, you can write as 60 minutes or 1 hour. So, she has covered total walking span of 1 hour. Is it clear children? Shall we do the sum sums of this pattern? Okay. So now my next question is say Sonia eats for 15 minutes. 
Okay, she is eating her snacks for 15 minutes. After that, she watches TV for say 30 minutes. Okay, and then she goes to play goes to play for say 45 minutes. So what is the total duration? Okay. So here Sonia is eating for 15 minutes, then she is watching TV for 30 minutes and then she goes to play for 45 minutes. Okay. So now we have to calculate what is the total time she is consuming for completing all these activities. Okay. Say what time you come from school? You come from school at say 4 o'clock, right? So my small needle is in 4 and my big needle is in 12. Okay. So she is back home at 4. Now she is eating her snacks for 15 minutes. So counting from here 5, 10, 15. So which means that starting at 4, she is completing her snacks at 4, 15. Right. She is eating her food at 4, 15. Okay. After that what is she doing? When she completes her uh, snacks, she is watching TV for 30 minutes. Yes. So counting from 15, it's 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30. So, which means that she is watching TV till 4.45. Yes. So, as I said, when my minute's hand is moving, my hour hand will also move. So, this small hand will move slightly between 4 and 5. So, she is watching TV till 4.45. After that, what does she do? She is going to play for 45 minutes. So, to make it more simpler, we will say that she eats till 4.15. Then she watches TV till 4.45. Okay. And she plays till what time? She watch, plays for another 45 minutes, right? So, we will count from here. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 45. Yes? So, which means that she plays till 5.30. So, my small needle will be in 5 and my big needle will be in 6. So, she plays till 5.30. And at 5.30, she is back home. So, what is the total duration which she has completed children? So, starting from 4, she has completed her task at 5.30. So, which means she has taken a total duration of 1 hour and 30 minutes. Which is nothing but equals to 90 minutes. So, 90 minutes she has relaxed herself and she has enjoyed herself. So, clear? Are you clear with this pattern of questions? Shall we move to the next pattern? Yes. 